viewers to today's episode and our question of interest today leads find the exact solution of 3 to the power 2x minus 3 to the power x plus 1 minus 4 equals to 0. So technically this is the same as solve for x or find the value of x. So this function that we have we can write it as 3 to the power 2x minus 3 to the power x multiplied by 3 to the power 1 because if you have a function y is equal to x to the power a plus b is the same as x to the power a multiplied by x to the power b like that so it's a principle that we are using minus 4 multiplied by x to the power 0 equals 0 like that now this function cannot further be written as 3 to the power x less to the power 2 because what happens is if you have y is equal to x to the power a less to the power b is the same as x to the power a b you multiply the powers then minus 3 to the power x multiply by 3 to the power 1 minus in uh, this let me just write it in the simplified form which is in 4 then at this point i'll say let y equals 3 to the power x so whenever there is 3 to the power x i'll put y the function becomes now y square because here we've replaced with y then minus y multiply by 3 which is less to the power 1 then minus 4 equals 0 which is y square minus 3y minus 4 equals 0 at this point this becomes just a common quadratic equation so the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the value of y that's why we are letting y is equal to 3 to the power x once we know the value of y we can easily solve for x at the end so at this point we know what is the product so the product is here we have a 1 1 times negative 4 is negative 4 sum when we add the two numbers that we are multiplying we are getting here which is negative 3 what are the factors so the two numbers in such a way that when we multiply them they will give us negative 4 when we sum those two numbers, they'll give us a negative 3 and negative 4 and 1. Because 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3. So, once we know these values, then we can now substitute. So, wherever we have negative 3y, we are going to substitute with this, which is the same as negative 4y plus y which is the same as negative 3y so whenever there is negative 3y we are going to substitute with this so let us just move to a cleaner page so we are going to have y square minus 4y plus y we substituted for negative 3y then minus 4 equals 0 then at this point we fact out what is common so what we are going to do is we are going to group this we group them and factor then these also we factor so what will happen is on the first one we have what is common is y so y into y square is a y y into negative 4 y is a negative 4 then what is common between this one and that one is just a 1. So we have a plus 1 which is a positive. 1 into y is a y. 1 into negative 4 is negative 4. Like that this equals to 0. Then you notice that what is in the bracket is the same. So you can factor out what is common. So we have y minus 4. We factor it out. Into this whole thing is a y. 
then into that you see a one so plus one like that so this equals zero so it's either this one is equal to zero or this one is equal to zero so y minus four is equal to zero or this one which is y plus one equals zero then when we we solve for y, y in this case becomes 4 because the moment this negative 4 crosses the equal sign becomes a positive. Then similarly in this case, y is equal to negative 1. The moment positive 1 crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So we have the values of y. Now remember what we did. We said let y be this one. So now we need to solve for y. So we said y is equal to 3 to the power x. We know what the value of y is. So, whatever there is y, we now start with a 4. So, 4 equals 3 to the power x. So, at this point, what we can do now is to solve for x. So, to solve for x, we introduce the natural logs. So, we are going to say natural log of 4 this side then also whatever we do to the left hand side, we do it to the right hand side. So you see natural log of 3 to the power x, which is the same as natural log of 4 is equal to this power of x goes in front. So we have x natural log of 3. Then to solve for x, we just divide by the natural log of 3, the natural log of 3 this side. You notice that this one and this one cancels. So x is equal to natural log of 4 divided by natural log of 3. This is the value of x. Once you do that, you are good to go. Then if you look at this one, this one is telling us that y is equal to 3 to the power x. So it's telling us negative 1 is equal to 3 to the power x. This one has no solution because even if I introduced a natural log, the natural log of a negative number is undefined. You cannot find the natural log of a negative number. A natural log or a log takes a positive number. So this value where y is equal to negative 1 cannot work, is not an exact solution. So hence we just end up with this one which is x is equal to natural log of 4 divided by natural log of 3. That's how you, you get this answer. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in another episode as we will look at another interesting question.